Yo, so guys, um, I'm pretty sad because I already recorded and uploaded this video, and when I went to go check my channel, I did dislikes, and I was very confused why, and it's because, for some reason, the audio didn't record, so it was just a fucking blank video, or it wasn't blank, but there was no one talking, so that's pretty sad, um, so, this is the October, uh, 2020 tier list, um, so we got a few changes, that I was recommended from comments in the last video that I kind of agree with. So first one is we move Tigra from High Demigod to God Tier. Um, she's a pretty cool character, but I don't know if she deserves High God Tier. She just, eh. but she's definitely deserving of God Tier. With some cool things you can do with holding her heavy down. Next we changed Emma from a God Tier to High God Tier, and the reason for this is because people in my alliance and people just in the game I've seen a lot of really annoying nodes and she just works perfectly for them because she can what counter evade fully I think and she can also be fully debuff immune with her diamond form which is very helpful for some annoying nodes in AW and shit like that um, being immune to every single debuff in the game is very helpful in her diamond form so that's fun uh, Airwalker went from C tier to D tier uh, I made that change because someone told me to and I was like, fuck it, I hate Airwalker, so I'm going to change it. Also, if you compare the tiers, um, like Angela versus Airwalker, Angela is 6 star rank 2 versus Airwalker 6 star rank 2. Angela just hits a lot harder. It's not even a comp, like Airwalker is just a noodle and it's too much build up and too much hype for such a shitter. So he just gets demoted. Arcus goes from god tier um, to high god tier. Because if Medusa is going to be in this class, then I think he should be in here too. Especially since I've seen some cool gameplay. He can do the same thing that um, Medusa can do. Cool power gain, so it's fun to spam specials. So I moved him up. And then Hulkbuster also goes from A tier to S tier, or God tier to High God tier. Seen a lot of gameplay from him, and he's just an overall crazy character. So, yeah, I kind of moved him up to High God tier because he's just insane. He's a Havoc counter. Just to just stay in damage and stay in regen, so he gets moved up. And then now, once we got those out of the way, you're gonna talk about the tuna characters. And this is gonna be a controversial one, I think. But I'm putting Red Goblin in the high god tier. He's not he's definitely a high god tier because the thing is, I think the reason why people don't think he's that good is because he was released at the same time as Cosmic Ghost Rider, so he's in his shadow a lot. But from the gameplay I've seen of Red Goblin, when you get in this dude's frenzy mode, he hits like a fucking truck. So he's incinerate immune and power burn immune. Um, he cancels all evade on Spider-Verse characters like Venom. And that's very helpful for annoying spider characters, which there's always plenty of in this game. Um, uh, what is it? During frenzy, they can't m you can't miss or get auto-blocked against, which is very nice. But the only problem with green, uh, Red Goblin is his frenzy mode. Um, so he starts off the fight, okay, first fight of the quest, he goes into frenzy mode at 15%, or when the enemy's at 15% health left, so basically the fight's already over at that point, um, so you have to use a special 3 to activate it yourself, so the fight's very slow until you activate your special 3, he does, like, very noodle damage until he gets frenzy from the special 3, but for every fight he wins, um, it goes up by 10%, it's 15%, up to 5 times, up to five charges so it's up to 50 percent so he'll go in frenzy mode when the enemy is at 65 percent health instead of 15 at his max potential so he so he gets into his crazy damage a lot faster but thing is and when he's in his frenzy mode this dude is like just crazy just everything dies so quickly with those special twos and he just hits like a crazy truck so i'm putting him in high god tier he might get demoted to god tier but we'll have to see I, I think he's definitely better than everyone in the cosmic class for that's god tier or lower so i think he definitely deserves high god tier his damage is just crazy when he's in frenzy spider-man champs can't evade when he's in frenzy they, they can't he can't miss or be auto blocked he's incinerate immune power burn immune so i think he's pretty crazy the pro reason why people don't think he is though is because cosmic ghost rider the second character released this year goes straight into the beyond god tier class this guy is fucking insane He's immune to bleed and incinerate, which is pretty nice. And he doesn't have, like, too much utility as far as I'm concerned. I think his mediums don't make contact, so he's Korg immune and all that shit. But 
what makes it too crazy, the reason why I go straight to Beyond God tier, it, it's rare for a character to be released and go straight to Beyond God tier. Normally it's high God tier, and then you test a few months, and you're like, eh, d does he deserve it? This dude just deserves it straight up. You watch any gameplay from this guy, he is killing, like, fucking Rama Legends fights in, like, 20 hits, 30 hits. It's just, just destruction. You get your um, judgments up, you launch your special 2, or special 3, and then when the judgments fade, um, if the special 2 doesn't kill them, which it will for 99% of fights in this game, when the, if the special 2 doesn't kill them for, like, big Act 6 fights, and when the judgments wear, wear off after, like, what, 5-10 seconds, um, it puts armor breaks on them, like 5-10 to 10 armor breaks, you can get a lot of them from the special 2 also, and your medium hits will be kidding for, like, 50-40,000 if they crit, so, I mean, he just ends fights so fast. Like, most Act 6 fights are over in 20, 30 hits. It's just, it, he's so good. So, that's why he's in Beyond God tier right away. Um, he, he's just so good, dude. Like, his damage is so insane. Um, Lagacy just uploaded a video, and he took out the Kang in um, Variant 3, I think it is. Variant 3 or 4, I think it's 3. And the Tech Variant where you have minus 50% attack um, if you're not tech. So, you know, Cosmic Ghost Rider is co cosmic. The, like, Kang has like 420,000 health. So since he's minus 50%, it's basically like he's versing an 800,040 health. Um, 800,000, 840,000 health Kang. So almost a million Kang. And he has selective time stream. So after 20 seconds, he'll regen back to full. Unless you have a shock or incinerate or passive heal block. Or you could just go big dick mode like Cosmic Ghost Rider and kill him fully in the 20% health phase, or 20 um, second phase. So, Legacy's Cosmic Ghost Rider with a power boost um, took out an almost 1 million health Kang basically in 20 seconds. So, that's to put damage into perspective. This guy is just, he ends fights, like no fight lasts longer than like a few seconds when you play this guy. So, yeah, he goes straight to Beyond God Tier for me. I really want to pull him as a 6-star. He's fucking insane. So, yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go like, comment, subscribe. If you have any characters you see on this list that you want to be changed, just write down in the comments um, why and if it makes sense to me. And, like, last time, like, I changed a few characters from last month to this month because you guys commented shit. So, if you write a comment, I'm likely to listen to it unless I really disagree with it or feel strongly about something. But, so just write down your comments below if you want anyone changed. And, um, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.